So here we're asked to solve the differential equation y double dash plus 8y dash plus 3y is equal to 0. So we can see straight away that this is a second order equation from the second uh, derivative present. And we can also see that this is going to be a constant coefficient equation because all of these um, terms on the left hand side, they just have a number sitting out the front. So 1, 8 and 3. The other thing that we can identify is the right hand side here is equal to 0, which means it's going to be a non-homogeneous um, differential equation to solve, which is the easier type. So how I'm going to start this off is I'm going to get the characteristic equation associated with the system and then from there I should be able to select which case I have and consequently which form of the solution I need to pick up. So the characteristic equation, we introduce the variable r and the power of r corresponds to the number of derivatives. So here it's going to be 2. The coefficient stays out the front. Again, we're replacing with r to the power of 1 since it's one derivative, so I'll just leave it as r. And here the coefficient stays out the front, and we don't have any derivatives of r in here, so we just leave it out. So this here is our characteristic equation. All right, so now we should be able to solve for the roots of it, and we can see it's a quadratic, so it's just applying the quadratic formula. Um, the number at the front here, which we'll call a, is equal to 1. The number here is b equal to 8. And the number here is uh, c, which is equal to 3. So this is the quadratic uh, equation. So it's just a matter of now substituting our uh, values into it. All right, so we can simplify what's inside this square root. And if you type it into a calculator, it comes out to 52. And then it's all divided by 2. So we're going to end up with two solutions to our ODE falling out. So the first one, which I'll call R1, will take, say, the positive sign, so the plus. And if you type this into a calculator to simplify it, it comes to about negative 0.394. So our second solution is going to come from taking the other sign. So we need to take the negative. And again, if we type this into a calculator to simplify it, um, it comes out to negative 0 point, sorry, 7.601 <laughs> approximately. All right, so looking at this, what we can see is that we've got real numbers that have fallen out. Okay, if it, we had have had to take the square root of a negative number, we would have had imaginary um, values falling out. But since we've got two real values and they're different to each other, what we've ended up with is the first case up here with real and distinct roots. So that means the solution to our differential equation should follow this format here. So I'll copy that across. So everything we're doing here is in terms of y. So it's going to be c1e to the r1t plus c2e to the r2t. All right, this is the solution to the homogeneous um, section of the equation. And since we've got directly a homogeneous um, equation, that means this is going to be the overall as well. We don't need to go to the effort of finding the particular uh, solution. That's what I'm trying to say. So all we've got to do then is substitute in our values. So C1, we don't know, that's a constant that we would be able to solve if we had more information. Um, but since we haven't been any given any conditions associated with this, we're not going to be able to solve it. So we'll just leave it as C1, R1. We did get a number out, so we can pop that in. And C2, same thing with C1, we can't get it without conditions. Whoop, 601 <laughs> uh, T. So that means that this here is the general solution um, to this differential equation that we were given. So that's all there is for the video.